the 14th installment in the World Caught My Eye series. In this edition, I'll be focusing on Troy Deeney's comments. As he has said, he refused to go into training this week with the rest of his teammates because he actually wants to put health over wealth for the sake of himself and his family, which I think is very noble of him. I have another new profound respect for the man. He des deserves a lot of credit for sticking to what he believes in and actually going through with it instead of bottling it and saying it for effect. You know, gotta give, um, you got to uh, tip your cap off uh, to him. It's a feather in the cap uh, for him to come out and say what he feels. He wears his heart on his sleeve. He's not media trained. He gives straight, forthright, direct answers. Uh, he wouldn't get a job in the in the Tory government because they don't give you an answer at all, do they? Just to mumble their way through it and pretend they're doing something when actually they're not. You know, there's one thing saying it, but there's another thing doing it. You know? So I think old players should do the same as Troy Diddy here. Yeah, I think they should all refuse to play. You know, this nonsense about product restart, or as I think they really want to call it, product give Liverpool the title at any costs project. But they'll do anything, won't they? Because Liverpool, right, are the foot, uh, a teacher's pet of football. That's what Liverpool Football Club are. Dirty Scouse bastards. And all those Scousers and certain top Reds who go, oh, it's the Bundesliga's uh, restarting. I can give you counter arguments to that. One, the German players probably care um, for the government and the government probably care about them and the health of their family and themselves, of course. Another thing is, Germany, as has been said before, they don't do friendlies. They treat this epidemic, as I call it, like a European Championship and a World Cup. Well, the Tories treated it like a friendly. You know, when all England fans get, oh, giddy, oh, we've beaten uh, friendlies in the Nations League. Oh, we're going to be champions again and we're going to win it. We're going to do everything. We're going to win Strictly Come Dancing. We're going to win the X Factor. Britain's Got Talent. Dancing on Ice. Strictly Come Dancing. I'm a celebrity. You know, all that. All that crap. And also, German people have a different mindset compared to people in Britain. And just because the Bundesliga is restarting, I don't think the Premier League should follow suit because they've handled the epidemic a lot better than their English counterparts have as well. Because, uh, you know, the Tories got a lot of criticism uh, with people like from Greece, etc., who have criticised what the British have done. So that tells you all you need to know as well. And these Liverpool fans who are probably going, oh, take his money off in the la. He's already said he didn't have much money back in the day. So he's not going to care, is he? You know, and they forget this key ingredient. That Troy Deeney is Watford's talisman. Without Troy Deeney, if the games do restart, their chances of survival are at zero. Because when he came back, it rejuvenised the whole squad. Also when Nigel Pearson was appointed the new manager, and they went on a fantastic run. And I think as it stands, they're out of the relegation zone. So without Troy Deeney... Uh, they're going to struggle. So how are they going give to convince uh, Troy Deeney to get back into training when it's safe? Well, other players follow the example. And I think he is the captain, isn't he, of Watford. So I think all the other captains should also group up for other clubs, the 20, the 20, 20 Premier clubs, and do the same thing as Troy Deeney. Because, uh, you know, that's what should happen. It should be cancelled, not only avoid the Premier League, it should cease to exist this season, and only able to do it when it's safe to do so, whenever that may be. So, Troy Need deserves credit for what he said, and I agree with him. And the same ones who are criticising him are probably the same ones who had a go at Matt Hancock when he said to the players, you've got to do your bit. Only because they met footballers, so they're not going to criticise players they've met, will they? That's basically the only reason they did that. They said, oh, they only do charity work anyway. Why should they give money to the Tories? Why don't the Tories give their... Uh, money to fund the NHS and fund other things. You know, that's basically what they're saying. So it's very hypocritical, I think. We all know that Matt Hancock is slippery as a eel. He's a snake in the grass. He's slivered as a snake. And guess, in his family, what could they support? 
Liverpool Football Club. Yeah, it's quizzes, isn't it? I'm not sure Matt Hancock's a Liverpool fan, but I know that two of his family members, which he said live on air, that are Liverpool fans. Hmm. That tells you me a lot, that. Tells me a lot, that. Yeah. Or maybe they're just trying to go out. You did your bit, so we'll give something back. We'll let you continue playing in the Premier League. Probably a peace offering for annoying the footballers when he told them uh, to fund the money um, to do their part of the bargain. You know? So, it's going to be interesting what happens next. But hopefully Charlie does stick to his guns and doesn't, you know, buckle under the pressure. And like Karen Blaze said, null involved the Premier League, the shareholders meeting, because she's definitely a shareholder in... in uh, at West Ham. Because, oh no, we want the league to, to, to continue. Didn't even say it was null and void. Didn't want it cancelled. So she's a hypocrite, her, isn't she? Unbelievable. But, um, yeah, we're going to see what happens next. But if people think this is the start of the Premier League returning, then you're quite clearly not clued up what's going on. Because I think, if things stay as they are, we might not get football. And those who want football to return... And how to go with footballers. Let's see, come June the 1st, whether you'll be sending your kids back to school. Let's see if you stick to your words, how to go with footballers, when you're going to put your kids in the school environment, under the Tory government, by the way. So let's see all those top reds, one in particular, uh, Liverpool fans. Let's see if they'll send their kids back to school, because I bet you they bloody won't.